The KDE Plasma desktop environment does offer quite a large range of customizations, but it is also good enough to use straight out of the box, which is probably just as well because I imagine the uh, sight of some of these options here would uh, frighten some people away. Now fortunately, some of the options are easy enough to get to. For example, by right-clicking on the task manager, I can pick up show alternatives, and you can see I'm using the icon only task manager. And for the launcher, right clicking on that, show alternatives, and I use the application dashboard. So that's a couple of the obvious changes I've made here to the desktop environment. Also got the fact I use a couple of different panels. My applications are on the left hand side to resemble the old Unity desktop, and I've got a few things on the right hand side. I also use night light to reduce the amount of blue light in the evenings although I appreciate you won't be able to see that on the video. I wanted to mention one other tweak which I've kind of explored at doing, but I don't tend to use so much, is the system monitor. Having the system monitor widgets on the desktop. What I find is most of the time I've got applications open and I'm not looking at desktop widgets. Plus they use a bit of CPU power to run these things. I appreciate they look good, but it's not for me. But these things exist and this is all part of the flexibility of the KDE desktop. But let's pick up a virtual machine of a new install of KDE and I'll show you what I do going through the system settings. So starting with the global theme, I choose the breeze dark theme. I do prefer the dark colors, but I also choose some other custom styles. So if I go into plasma style and get new plasma styles, so this offers the option of downloading from the KDE store. So I still like the Breeze Transparent Dark. I think this is getting on in age a bit, so it's uh, further back down the list than a lot of these newer themes. And it's a bit difficult to find as well. Uh, I think this is about the only one I don't have a link for. I think it's this one here down the end. Let's try it out. Let's try it out though. Uh, breeze Transparent Dark. Next, go into the application style and choose get new window decorations. And I'm after for man. At least this time it's at the top. It's a bit more of a unique name, whereas the other one just had transparent and dark in which is <laughs> too many uh, styles like that now. Uh, this will look better, I think, when I log out and log back in. It would probably look better as well if it wasn't in a virtual machine. So yeah, colors, yeah, breeze dark, that's fine. And the fonts, and I tend to go with the Ubuntu font, but I know that's getting on a bit in age and I don't think it's being maintained. Uh, I'm sure I'll uh, change one day, but uh, yeah, I think for now I'll keep with it. So yeah, the Ubuntu font, yep, that's okay. You can leave the other things as is. And the mono font, just have to change that one separately. So that's the Ubuntu mono, just right down the bottom of the list. Yeah, Ubuntu mono and that's size 13 because the mono size font always seems a bit small. There we go. Yeah, the icons, uh, yeah, no difference here. Same for cursors. I'm quite happy using the breeze cursor, but <laughs> there's loads more to download if you do want them. Now let's go on to the behavior. So desktop effects. Well, out of all this list here, which is uh, very reminiscent of the Compiz effects. <laughs> starting to show my age of Linux now, aren't I? If you're talking about Compiz. Although it's still around a bit, just uh, not as widely used as it used to be. Yeah, the only one I go for here is Wobbly Windows. There you go. <laughs> a little wobbliness there. Uh, screen locking. Well, I'm not bothered about locking the screen, so yeah, I'll disable all that. Virtual desktops. Yeah, it's something I've been using a bit more nowadays. I think uh, even though I've got two monitors on the desk, uh, I still need uh, far too many things open sometimes. If I go back to my main desktop, uh, yeah, just open something there, and there's an example of the virtual desktops in use. Yeah, you can have a different set of applications open here. Now onto the shortcuts. And if I go to Kwin, and I'm looking for switch to desktop four. There it is, switch, switch to desktop four. And I'm going to disable that because that conflicts with a browser shortcut. Control F4 is close tab. With that disabled, now it will take the browser shortcut first over the switching to desktop 4, which doesn't exist on this system. We've only got two desktops. Now on to start up and shut down. Uh, there's just one thing to change here, desktop session. 
on the default options, I go straight for turning off the system. That is, if you have the widget lock log out, that will execute the default leave option, which I want as turn off computer. Now to skip some of these and go to input devices. So keyboard, num lock on plasma startup, turn it on. Display and monitor. Ah, that is the night color and activate night color. And I think I have slightly higher for the night color temperature. I think 4700K. And that is about it really. As I said, the other thing I did was moving the panels around. So yeah, that's how you do it and you know, change the size, but I'm not gonna go through all that in this video. But that's the customizations that I do to my KD desktop. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you all later.